Situated on the south coast between Brighton and Worthing, sits the town of Shoreham-by-Sea, home to around 50,000 people. The town has become vulnerable to tidal flooding from the river, as current defences reach the end of their useful life. In response, the Shoreham Ada Tidal Wall Scheme has been commissioned to strengthen and improve 7.2 kilometres of tidal walls. The work is being carried out by Team Van Oord and the scheme led by the Environment Agency, who is responsible for a strategic overview of flooding in the UK. The flood risk within the River Ada estuary varies. There are areas of significant vulnerability that, we, that we're aware of and that the scheme will seek to improve. The Environment Agency is working in conjunction with the project partners as well as the construction contractors. We're Mackley, which is part of the Team Van Orr Group. And it's really good for us because uh, Mackley was actually founded in Shoreham back in 1927 and we completed a lot of the um, sheet piling of the original harbour. The design of the defences has taken into account 50 years of predicted sea level rise and will reduce the likelihood of flooding in any given year. As a result, the scheme has taken a lot of time to develop. Well, the project's been planned for, for many years. That's given us time to uh, engage with the local community, discuss the designs and uh, work out the correct access. Um, the actual construction work started in August 2016 and we hope to be complete by the end of 2018. Different parts of the river require different types of defences. As a result, the project has been split into 10 sections or reaches to simplify operations. So we've got uh, lengths of the river that are sheet piled, we've got lengths of the river that have uh, rock revetment, uh, we've got other lengths that require a concrete wall, um, and then a large section by the airport, uh, what we call W7, that's a very long length of realigned flood embankment. And then uh, along Emerald Cree we're providing a flood glass solution. Community outreach is a big part of managing the project. We've got a dedicated uh, public liaison officer uh, and we've got a visitor centre on site which is open every afternoon for the public to drop in and uh, meet with Angela and ask any questions. We've had uh, open evenings, uh, we obviously do letter drops, things like that. Uh, we've got Facebook page, uh, website as well. The team has received very good feedback from the community and Team Van Oord thanks them for their support. Yeah.